Have you ever wondered why some power chords have two notes? And some have three notes? The answer is actually pretty simple, and it teaches us a couple cool things about the guitar. First of all, what is a power chord? Well, it's a root and a fifth. That's fancy music theory talk, but really, I can just explain it pretty simply with a scale. We all know the do, re, mi major scale. At least we've heard it at least one point in our life, especially if we've seen The Sound of Music. Well, a power chord is just the first note of that scale and the fifth note, called the fifth. Those two notes together are really consonant, and they sound great with this distortion for rock and roll. So then what is this third note here? Well, that's the same as the first note, but an octave higher, in a higher register. So it's the eighth note of that scale. That's why it's called an octave. So we have the root, the fifth, then the octave, the, the root again, but in a register higher. This means that in basically any circumstance where you have the two note power chord, you can use the three note power chord as well. You're not adding a different note name, you're just doubling up one of the notes. That kind of thickens up the sound a little bit. This relationship, by the way, between a root and its octave holds across the first, or rather the bottom, four strings of the guitar. So take any note, skip a string, and go up two frets, and you have that octave relationship that you can find in the three note power chord. That's how a lot of these guys have that sort of solo-like sound that isn't really a solo. I'm muting the string in between there. So you have the power chord with three, with three notes, or you can just drop that fifth and just have the octave. There you go.